Recently, my GMC app stopped working. I would click on it and it would load for a second and then shut down. I could not get it to open. And I'm gonna show you what I did to fix the issue. Uh, this should work for GMC and Chevrolet at least because those are pretty much the same cars and they have the same app, uh, just branded differently. Real quick, before we start, if you could like this video, subscribe to the channel, it's a really easy way to support the work that we're doing here. We would really appreciate it. And with that, let's jump in. So really all I did was delete the app completely so on iPhone, you know, press and hold and then uh, remove the app all the way, took it all the way out. And then I downloaded it again or pulled it down from the, uh, the cloud and everything was working right again. Once you completely download the app, you do have to log in to your account again. So with the app now downloaded again, I have to go through all these steps to kind of set it up. The cool thing is my account is already here. I would just log in, log in, get my verification code, submit the code. And there we go. What am I using? And then I had a Chevy before I have the Yukon now. No, and then it started working. So honestly, that's all I had to do. Uh, it's been a few days now and I haven't had any issues with it. Just as a side note, I use this app every day to start my car. And I literally just learned that if you press and hold down this, you can start and stop your car or lock or unlock it without having to go to the app. It's a super small time saver, but I thought it was cool. So I thought I'd share it with you guys as well. So I hope that helped. And if it did, again, if you could like the video, subscribe to the channel. Thank you guys so much. See you next time. Bye-bye.